right, folks, how you doing? Russell True Results 303.com. Check out the website, link in the description box, Mind Body Spirit Fitness. Putting the healing back in health. Don't forget to follow on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, podcast is out there. Links down below. All right, true crew. So coming at you today with a video on the people we need to embrace most in our life. Right? I think we get this misconception of who we need to embrace and who we need to push aside, right? And this is going to, I'm going to start out with a, a Bible verse, and this is pretty much going to take us in the area we need. So don't change it if you're not a Christian or anything like that. But trust me, this is a valuable tool. This is a valuable verse. This is something that if we implement within our own lives, it's only going to make us better. All right? So this is going to be one Corinthians, and where does it say? I'll start with 9. Just 9 through 13. I might not even go that deep, right? But it says, I wrote you in my letter not to associate with immoral people, not at all referring to the immoral of this world or the greedy and robbers or idolaters. For you would then have to leave the world. But I now write you not to associate with anyone named brother, if he is immoral, greedy, an idolater, a slanderer, a drunkard, or a robber, not even to eat with such a person. For why should I be judging outsiders? Is it not your business to judge those within? God will judge those outside. Purge the evil person from your midst. That's what we've got to understand, folks. This is what it's all about, right? This is why it's so difficult, right? The problem is we're trying to get along with everybody, right? This is the one area where I can actually agree with liberals, right? Because I think it just came out the other the other day that some liberal lady, politician, whatever, came out and said she was actually pro-life, and they straight shunned her, right? But then the downfall is with a majority of liberals, if you have a contradicting idea and you are from the right, they don't even want to hear you either. And that's where we have the downfall. That's where we are unable to come together, right? But in reality, that's where you need to start evaluating your own circle, cutting those people out of your life, and must embrace every person outside of your circle. Because they are going to be the ones that have those different points of view. They view the world differently. And this is where it's going to create value in your life, make you a better person. This is why they always talk about the best conversations, I've said this before, the only conversation you should really be having are the difficult ones, right? The ones where you got to tell people how they are not living up to their true potential. Where, you know, in my opinion, if it ain't politics and it ain't religion and it ain't health and fitness or something like that, I don't really care to have those conversations. You know, I want to have those difficult conversations. Those are the conversations that are going to help you grow to be better, not just to talk to people that agree with you and people that are going to be yes men and get you stuck in your same pattern, right? It's that same concept of they are in fear of losing you or offending you, so they're just going to feed you a bunch of lies to keep you around, right? They're manipulating you to keep you in, in their life for some value that you might bring and once again, that's that same concept of what's the opposite of love. The opposite of love is used because these people don't love you. They're just using you because of the gratification they get from you being in their life. And if they actually decided to love you and tell you the difficult things, you would, not, you would most likely leave, especially if you're stubborn and you're someone who doesn't want to work on yourself, right? But in reality, we are all a work in progress. And those that are going to tell you the truth and sometimes give you those harsh facts about yourself are the best people to be around. So once again, if you want to take it to that next level, it's not just say, oh, you're a drunkard, you're immoral, you're this and that, and then don't hang out with them. You got to give them that chance to change as well. So as long as you're giving them that chance to change, and they're working on it, they might have some relapses, but as long as they're working on it and slowly getting better, then that's great. 
But if you tell them and all of a sudden, well, I'm not going to change. I don't really care. Then those are the people you need to eliminate. And you always need to make sure that we are having these outside influences in our lives at all times. I made a couple videos on friendships, right? So I'll get into that real quick. And it was the 33% rule, right? So I know they say something. I can't remember the whole terminology. I haven't used the 33% rule in a while. Uh, but it's cut your friendships into, 30, into thirds, right? And we'll go off of age group. You should have 33% uh, of your friends are younger than you. 33% are in that same age range. And then 33% are older than you. So you're getting a well-rounded view of the world coming from different perspective, perspectives, different generations. Uh, same thing with cultures, right? You should have 33% of your friends that are your culture, 33% that are another, and that are another. So we're getting a well-rounded view of the world in general, right? I think this is another downfall with America where we all say that, oh, we need to be more like Germany or Canada or this or that. But unfortunately, we've never been to those countries. We don't really know what's going on within those countries, right? So if you don't know what's going on within this country, you can't say, oh, well, they have really good health or free health care, so we need free health care. They have free this, so we need free that, or we need this, or we need that, because we're not a part of that society. Unless you've been there and lived there for one to two years, you know, not just you went on a vacation for a couple weeks, that might not be what's best for us. We're a different society, we're a different culture, and we need to make sure that we under have that understanding. Do you have you talked to those people? What do they think about their free health care? Is it even good health care? Right? So we need to embrace those that have different thoughts and then the people within our community that are struggling to live that lifestyle, those are the individuals we need to be eliminating from our lives. And once we can understand what it truly means, right, truly live in that concept, that's when we'll get a better understanding of life. All right, True Crew, there you go. Lot to, lot to chew on there. I could probably go a little bit deeper into it, but I'm not going to. Doesn't really matter right now. Uh, I hope that's enough for you to digest and then you can kind of create your own thoughts off of it. So there you go, True Crew. That's your homework. Sit, meditate, pray, sit in silence with this concept and go from there. All right? So once again, I hope this helps. Don't forget to follow on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus. The podcast is out there. Subscribe to this channel. Share and like these videos.